Hi, my name is Bao Dinza. I'm a foot and ankle surgeon, fellowship trained. I deal with soft tissue injuries as well as degenerative changes. Achilles tendinopathy can be down to two basic reasons. One is repetitive injuries, which is doing the same velocity but changing the repetition of it. Or secondly, it could be increasing velocity of a sudden onset, which is what we're seeing more recently with uh, COVID, people coming out of lockdown and suddenly doing increased activities all of a sudden. Surgery is not always the solution and it's something we should always have in our box of tricks that we can consider, but first of all we should always try non-operative measures, which would consist of physiotherapy, and we have an excellent sports physiotherapist at the One Ashford that can help with this, with the triphasic rehabilitation. And we have other options as well, such as something called hydrodistension, where we can put saline around the tendon to help break down the scar tissue, and once again this is something offered by our radiology department. And another option is also shockwave therapy, which is uses low wave sound energy to try and break down the inflamed tissue and try and stimulate new blood supplies and develop new healthy tissue. And this is also something offered by our physiotherapy department. If these measures fail, we then would consider surgery. Standard guideline is about six months of non-operative measures and if this is to fail, having a good course of physiotherapy by appropriate physiotherapy programme, then we should then consider surgery. But also it's an individualised treatment, it depends on the individual, how, what their activities are like and certainly this is just a rough time frame and not something that's rigid. This all depends on where the problem is with the Achilles tendon. So whether it's in the middle of the tendon, it may be simple things such as just debriding the unhealthy tissue. When it's more the insertion, and by that I mean toward the heel bone, it may be quite significant surgery requiring you to take off the tendon Achilles, removing any calcifications, and then putting the tendon back onto the heel bone. But this will depend on what the imaging findings are and, and what it, your symptoms are when we examine you. So we've seen an increase in Achilles tendinopathy recently due to predominantly due to the pandemic and people getting back to activities. Certainly it's a multidisciplinary approach to management involving the physiotherapist, radiologist as well as the surgeon and it involves input from the patient as well in regards to what they feel is the best course of action for them and it's uh, having that rounded approach to the whole treatment is what gets the best, best outcomes in the long term. It's important that if you are developing pain and symptoms in this area to get seen urgently by an um, orthopaedic surgeon such as myself to get assessed and, uh, and get the appropriate investigations done and treatment done as soon as possible and this will hopefully prevent prolonged problems in the long term. <laughs>